my wonderful and amazing people. On a good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, depending on the place and the time you come across this my video. I greet everybody in the house. My people, my people, who is now Peter Obi movement? Oh yes, so now Peter Obi will they follow. Come, make I tell you something, eh? If you they support Peter Obi, support Peter Obi with your full chest. I like person with a support person. You go come and support the person, please. This video one I want was so when I go see people they talk about Peter Obi, the way he did them, the way they know Peter Obi, that they talk about him. Now I will give you the time and the opportunity to you know follow this link, you know, watch this video about Peter Obi. One, two, three people come out and join all the video together. Then they talk about who else. Peter will be how you go to move us forward, how you go to change the country, how you go. In fact, they talk a lot about Peter will be. Now you are going to watch the video, but before you go, if you know, say you didn't new to this platform, you never subscribe, you are new, or you didn't watch our video before, you never support and what you did wait for. Quickly, please smash and hit that button with the right subscribe. Don't forget to press the like button and the notification bell. So anytime when I put any program, you go there among the very first we run. See him. and I beg you follow us. I beg follow us and spread the news. I want to make everybody watch this video. This video, my dear, is very, very, very important. Honestly, I want to make you follow me, spread the news about Peter Obi. Now, three people did for inside this video, and three people talk about Peter Obi, and they give their point and their reason why you should support Peter Obi. I'm not noting at the talk now. So, you will watch the video. Don't forget to try and leave your comment for the comment section. What do you think about the video? Leave your comment for the comment section. Follow me, share the video, and I will see you again for my next video. Thank you, guys, and God bless. One and so, when I met the Governor who had just finished his tenure, I asked him, I said, my dear brother, I had been longing to thank you immensely. You did something remarkably well. God bless you. He said, my brother, what is that? I said, the international airport you built in Oka. I said, I am exceedingly happy. He said, oh my God, I'm happy hearing it from you. Then I added, I said, where did you get the money? He said, Biko, <laughs> now my former colleague leave the money behind me. <laughs> I love that. I said, he left, he said, frankly speaking, he left money in foreign currency. It's the money I saw, I said, look, let me leave a legacy before we go. So, I'm not promising. The only, I won't leave money. I'm owing them here. And I'll use the money well. <laughs> Sir, my people in Taraba State, you have heard him. He's left. For us to decide do we want a nigeria of promise or our children or we want until we are kidnapped with our wives and kept in another place and be at the mercy of the kidnappers all this is left for us to tell ourselves i would rather that we will live in the very comfortable and live a full life as decent citizens in this country. We were in the office before coming here. He said, are you exporting coffee? Are you exporting tea? Uh, I'm so happy you use the correct words. Peter Obi is a phenomenon. And that is the truth. Uh, he is a new, he's, he's, he's a new version of, you know, the hope. He represents the hope for the youth. What, what you are seeing is actually, you know, a, 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 a political tsunami of, of a kind, a movement, a revolution. And that is why most of the uh, stakeholders and political elites do, who do not comprehend or understand fully what this is, take it to be not, something not too serious. But the younger ones, the more mobile, the more educated, and the more uh, agile Nigerians, the more patriotic Nigerians, are those who are propelling, those who are propelling this movement. 
I can tell you from a vantage position, because you know I am the director general of this organization, and if I actually claim any glory for what is going on, or attribute it just solely to Peter Obi, I will be lying. Now, if whatever you are saying, ninety percent of it is propelled, is self-propelled, self-funded, and self-activated by the many young people in Nigeria and in the diaspora, and any nation no matter what it is or how it is, that ignores the voices of its youth will definitely have itself to blame. What is coming to Nigeria is something that we haven't seen before, perhaps not even on the shores of Africa. We have a political figure that, that, you know, that has proven integrity, that has character, that has pedigree, that sees and has evidence to show that he's, you know, he says what he does, you know, and you know everything so far has been predicated on integrity, which is extremely very lacking among our leaders, both present and past leaders, and because everybody is yearning for a, a true and an honest change, that you know uh, the, we are even making a mistake. The youth, yes, are the ones propelling it, but even the fathers and the mothers and the uncles are silently queuing up and lining up and joining the movement. Well, I I'm going to push you on this. I mean, because let's face it, uh, it's Peter B versus... You can, you can. Well, I certainly will. I mean, it's Peter B versus three big political guns, Atiku, Tinubu, and Kwankwaso. If this was a football match, I mean, it's bound to go into overtime and eventually <laughs> penalties, isn't it? Can your, can your candidate, Peter B, and his Labour Party squad do it in 90 minutes? Charles, Charles, you surprise me. Uh, you know, the, the, the hood does not make the monk. You know that that's a very popular saying in English language. Um, and for a fact, you know, what we see are decorated caricatures, political caricatures, who have essentially, principally expired. I have nothing to offer. And the people can see through the masquerades. You call them, this is a game that is, you know, that will be decided even if, if it were a football match in the first half of the match. It's not going to go into any extra time. Tell me, what will, you know, what will the APC, for instance, what is APC going to tell Nigerians? You know, I mean, I don't want to criticize anybody. That is not our game. And if you look at my principal, he doesn't talk about anybody. He only talks about issues. So I'm just going to toe that same line. And tell, you know, look, both APC and PDP are an ex expiring commodity but because they have, you know, they have been with us for so long, the nostalgic effect of their existence makes us to think that, they are, you know, they are, you know, I mean, that they are, you know, you cannot, they are unconquerable. We don't see them like that. You know, in any case, who decides who stays in a political ring fight? It is the electorate. And, you know, you saw yourself, and everybody has seen this, what happened at, you know, you know, I mean, when Peter will be, you know, uh, 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 honored in an invitation to come to, I mean, to, to come to a night vigil in Dunamis Church. I mean, you know, people talk about Peter Obi as, ex you know, the, 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 as existing just purely on social media, which is a terrible joke. I mean, in that hall, I was there, there are over 150,000 Nigerians, and that is not an Igbo, you know, and that is not an Igbo, uh, it's not an Igbo church. The, the, the pastor of Dunamis is, I believe, is from Benue State. It's a, you know, it's a pan-Nigerian church in, this, in the capital city of Nigeria with a lot of young people and middle-aged people and all that. And, you know, I was the one that was asked to write the entourage of Peter Obi, and I just wrote Doing uh, Okupe uh, or Basse or Seluka, Peter Obi. I did not even put any appellation. But see, the whole place, you know, broke out in riots. It became uncontrollable. The, 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 the pastor missus had to use everything that was inside of her and a lot of intellect and persuasion to stop the crowd from shouting and chanting. This is 
you know, this can anybody in his true in his true i mean in his, in his in his true sense say that this was social media it has we've told them it has broken the bounds of social media it has gone beyond twitter it has gone beyond facebook this is something that resides in the hearts and minds of nigerians all over all over the country some say that there's uh there's some sort of breath of fresh air in peter obi in what way? If it will be what's going on, if it will be what? If it will be what? People who complain about Abuja, other states failing will have all been non number states. I hear him talk about industries every day. I'm, I would love to see those industries. Anambra is the home of IPOP, the home of the failure of the Southeast. I was watching a video from um, um, Nam the other day where he was talking about the failure of Peter Bia as, as a governor. It's again, it says to me that Nigerians, because we just don't want to be logical about what we are dealing with our failures, we, we still want to wrap ourselves around these people. What's different between Peter B, like you mentioned, you mentioned his name, who was the vice presidential candidate to Atiku in the last election, and the Atiku he's running against? Do you care less about the social media population of the youths? in this country you know absolutely not i understand social media phenomena i also understand that social media is a flash in the pan as a candidate my strategic is for strategic reasons i'd rather be the popular candidate on social media the last two months of the election rather than the person who is popular two three months and is no longer popular and we've seen that we've seen that and that's why we always have a social media we have what we call